So this is session one of two uh, for Passion de la Passiones. And I say that in the worst Midwestern uh, Indiana accent possible. Uh, you can, we'll uh, you can let me say it. I yeah, mean, but then I I'm going to tell you say everything. Um, in <laughs> this. Uh, so this is a an ash can game. It is uh, from Magpie. It is done by Brandon uh, Leon Gambetta. And uh, we are playing from uh, this ash can version. It is a Powered by the Apocalypse game of telenovelas. Uh, I'm going to talk about what that means here in a second. Uh, if you're watching this, know that this is part of the Gauntlet Hangouts. This is an online gaming community. Uh, we have 100 plus games online every month. It's crazy. Uh, you can check that out at gauntlet-rpg.com. Uh, if you want to know other things, uh, you can check out my blog at asiabravens.blogspot.com. I'm throwing that in now because I want to do it. So anyway, uh, we are going to be playing this game. It is about being characters in a, uh, a telenovela, a Latino uh, a dramatic story. Uh, this is a game about play. Uh, we want to make sure that we don't border into parody. Uh, we want to, want to. It is fun. It is over the top. It is dramatic. But we want to kind of uh, uh, watch where we are uh, in terms of that. Uh, my knowledge of of the drama. Uh, comes from soap operas, mostly from Korean dramas, uh, K-dramas and those stories, and, uh, you know, some telenovelas. Uh, and, of course, as I've mentioned before, I am super white and Midwestern. Um, uh, though I grew up, uh, we lived in, in Mexico when I was very young, and I used to just speak fluent Spanish. Ooh. Lost all that by the time I was at a grade school. All gone. So that's American education system right there for you when we get to that level. Uh, yeah, Keith may object to my, my saying, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so let's talk about uh, the, the cats, which is uh, a terminology that we use uh, here. Uh, this concept of the game is characters acting in a telenovela. So we're in a heightened drama, we're in a television show. Um, uh, we, we make the breaks and we do the calls and the elements echo that. Um, we're gonna be playing out this drama that is full of twists and turns. Things will go one way and then it will zoom off in another direction. Some of the moves will retcon things, uh, will change things up. And so we have to kind of uh, adjust when we hit those. Uh, this is a game in terms of the tone. This is TV level violence. Uh, uh, bad things happen to bad people and to good people. But the real awful stuff, the gore and things like that, that's all off screen. So we cut away from those things. Um, uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and essentially, this is beautiful people with complicated lives uh, being awful to one another uh, throughout this. So uh, keep that in mind. This is part of the Gauntlet Hangouts. Uh, we do use the X card, uh, which uh, I trust everyone is familiar with the X card. Haley, I haven't played with you before. Are you familiar with that? Okay, I see nodding. Uh, so uh, uh, for those of you at home, it's a, a simple, very, very basic system for safety tools for play. In this, you may see us uh, do this marker or somebody may say it in the chat or they may just raise their hand and bring an objection up. Uh, if they do, then we'll attempt to, to move past that. I may ask a question about how we, we edit those things. Uh, also, uh, when we get playing in this, you may notice that I start to talk fast uh, and my Hoosier accent gets worse and worse. So if at any point you do not understand what I'm saying, please feel free to go, what, what did you just say, Lil? I will not, not be upset by that if, if I get to going too fast. So all of that's in mind. Look at that. I just went through all that spiel. It's nuts. Now we're going to talk about this situation. We're all people connected all tied together in this PBTA game. We're going to have relationships that we're going to build. But the question that I want to put to you, the framing question we need to have on, uh, answered is what, where are we? What is the, the crux of our play? Is it that uh, uh, essentially that, that everyone is part of a family that runs a hotel? Um, or is there some sort of like a uh, business that's being run, like a fashion business? Or are they all part of a, a family of restaurateurs? Or is there shipping business? 
or is there a ranch or a resort or do you run a TV channel um, or is this like just a kind of a, a, a housing development or an estate? What do you, what's our place, our central location um, that when we pan in, in the opening credits, we get the aerial shot that they spent the extra money on for the helicopter mm -hmm. uh, to give us that glamour shot. What do you think that is? Anybody have strong feelings about that? Well, I picked as one of my props, the cart full of chemicals. Okay. Like, I don't even know how the employee has a cart full of chemicals, but okay. <laughs> but Cleaning supplies? That's the, the first thing I thought of. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that or a lab sense. assistant? I was thinking lab assistant to make things like, if we need a scene where a, a dramatic scene of someone getting, <laughs> getting acid on them, then we can arrange that. Interesting. Or we can start that. So, okay. Okay. I, I like that. So, um, uh, with with that in mind, uh, uh, that we have uh, uh, someone uh, as an employee as a lab assistant, what do we think the larger scale of our 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 company is? Then, uh, is it a cosmetics company? Um, uh, is it a pharma uh, pharmacological pharmaceutical? Oh, what a word! Uh, 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 development company. What, what? Anyone have ideas there? Maybe it's a perfume company okay and it could be called like the show could be like la aroma or something <laughs> like that you know um that's so great what i what i kind of um, wonder is if we have this like big business um do we want it to be run by la Doña or el jefe oh that's a good question Yes, yes, the, the the smell of love. <laughs> oh, that's. I, I think yeah. I think when we come to those relationships, yeah, that might be what's in question is about who's in charge. Yeah, like uh, I only played this once at a con as a one shot, and basically the conflict was between La Doña and El Jefe, and basically who what like their struggle is basically for control of whatever the company is. So it makes sense, I think. All right. All right. So perfume company, La Aroma uh, is the name of the show. Um, you know, there might be other interests the family's involved in, but that's sort of the the central uh, uh, conceit about, around everything that is, is built around. Um, so with that in mind, uh, I want to go through and have each of you give us the, the, the one minute pitch on your character. And... Once we get that established, uh, then we're going to look at those relationships and leverage. Uh, so we're going to get that on the table. So, uh, Michael, uh, I'm actually going to work from uh, uh, right to left. So I'm going to start with you introducing La Jefe, uh, El Jefe, the boss, um, but uh, uh, feminine. See, now there's all this conjugation uh, of that. Um, uh, so uh, to put a picture in here, uh, you actually hit uh, image where you want to put it in, and it'll give you a choose image to upload, and then you can resize it. That's under insert. Ah, OK. Thank you. Okay. So Michael, tell us about your character. Yes, I am playing uh, La Jefa. Thank you. Uh Maria, not to be confused with the heifer, so I have to be sure I do the soft A. Um, yeah, uh, her name is Catalina Reyes, um, and she is a very uh, wealthy person. Um, I think that perhaps the way that she acquired her wealth is sort of a little bit uh, mysterious or sinister, but uh, undefined. Um, she has a group of strong men that work for her underneath her um, that kind of do her dirty work. Uh, but as far as her appearance goes, uh, she has this very voluminous, like swept back hair. Um, and she always has like red lipstick on and very impeccable makeup. But in particular, what's striking about her is that she always has an eye patch um, that's color coordinated with whatever she's wearing. So if she has a red dress, she has a red eye patch, silver dress, silver eye patch. Hmm. And that's that's Catalina. So tell me, is she married, divorced, widowed? 
multiple of those? Uh, I think that she has had many, uh, has, uh, she has been widowed multiple times. I'm not sure what the, the term for that would be, uh, but she's had a murderous. A murderous. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. She's had, uh, she's had several husbands along the way, but uh, unfortunately she has outlived all of them. And, and is there some serious uh, suspicion? Um, perhaps, but I doubt that anyone would dare to, you know, state that out loud or anyone could hear. These young men, these strong men who uh, uh, serve underneath you, so to speak, um, uh, are they uh, 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 imagining that they're going to succeed to you or are they boy toys or how do you picture them? They're all a bunch of morons. Okay. Like thick necked, um, kind of almost stooges. You know, they're they have they have no ambition, and even if they did, they have no potential. So, this is kind of their lot in life. Do you imagine that uh, Catalina has always been associated with this company, or is this a new thing, or did she marry into it? How are you picturing that? Oh, I was going to go with like a family tie, but I like the idea of marriage for sure, especially with the the uh, untimely death of her recent husband. Do, do, do you do we think that that's sort of the the opening scene is the funeral uh, uh, of your 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 late husband? Yes. Oh my gosh, um, that would be wonderful. And I hate I don't want to over define things myself necessarily, but maybe. Haley for your matriarch. Maybe she has the, the blood family tie. I have this marriage tie. Maybe that's Ooh. where the conflict over. That is exactly what I was thinking. Okay, perfect. <laughs> yeah, like, perfect. Is your current I... last name there your character's um, maiden name or the last name of your recently deceased husband? Um, I'm not sure what in, would be considered in, appropriate. In Latin American countries, they, um, women keep their maiden names. Usually, okay. Okay. or or actually, at least like that's the norm. They actually have like the father's last name and then the mother's last name. Like it's like my name is Maria Fernanda Rivera Cruz. Rivera being my father's father's name and Cruz being my mother's father's name. So that's how it works. And then my mom is Zoraida Cruz Torres. Right. <laughs> sure. So. We'll say yes. Then raises her maiden name um, from her from her father. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So that gives me some idea here. I want to move on. I am going to come back to you, of course, on these uh, relationship questions, um, and we'll we'll deal out some leverage. But uh, I want to move on here first. Um, so next, Maria, tell us about your character, Maria. <laughs> Yes, that was one of the of uh, one of the options in the playbook, so I had to take it. Okay. <laughs> so Maria is la empleada, Maria Reina Garcia, uh, the employee. She, I'm guessing, she works for Catalina as or Camila. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> and she's like always in a rush, always working, frazzled all the time. Uh, and the other thing is that she has sexy glasses and she has two suitors because that's what the employee, the employee has. Oh, excellent. And we'll, we'll, we'll let you decide on those once we've got everybody, uh, uh on the table, um, uh, as to who that is. Uh, so is, is she, uh, uh, uh has she kind of grown up in the company or is she a, a, a trained scientist or or I what, think what she's trained mean? she's a trained either scientist or perfume maker i'm like i'm with the set of chemicals i'm guessing she's uh she's trained to make this sort of stuff and other things as if we end up with the road with the path of she works for catalina we can say that she makes the stuff she uses for her nefarious stuff Nefarious. Ooh, interesting. Okay, that's a that's if, a very particular if, word that you chose if, there. If if we decide to go there. So she's a chemist. Uh, has she been with the company for a long time? Is she a new employee? What do you imagine that? I think either she might be newer because uh, always frazzled. She might like maybe not like 
immediately uh like no but like knew enough so that she got a recent position and she's still overwhelmed by it so i'm imagining with that and tell me what you think of this that that this company employs a lot of people in the area um and there's a lot of people who are more sort of uh, uh maybe family members and stuff that are are essentially general workers but you've you've managed to 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 garner a more plum position with more uh, uh more respect and more authority uh i guess yeah that makes sense okay okay um uh and uh, uh this surprisingly slinky dress is that a gift from one of your suitors uh is it uh, something that uh you bought for yourself on a whim? I think I, like, if I have, like, I don't think I, my character is rich because Lime Plata isn't rich at all ever, uh, but something, but she might have bought it on a whim at, so, like, recently when she got a new job. Okay, okay. All right, all right, thank you. Uh, and you have keys to the castle as your ability, right? Yeah. That's the, the, I just happened to stumble into things, uh, a special move. Um, okay. All right. Thank you very much. I am going to move on to uh, uh, Camila Fernandez. Haley, please tell us about La Donna. Yes. So uh, Camila is a unusually short um, woman um, with kind of these like all seeing eyes. Like that's her general feel like, you know, if you're in her presence, you might get a little bit of that terror that she knows something that there's no way she could know. Um, and um, yes, she is definitely part of this whole family business um, in contact and sorry, in contest for um, the company. Um, I think that she has been in the company for a while, um, not done anything formally useful to anybody on the outside, but on the inside, um, done a lot of the like, handled a lot of the political side of keeping the company, ah. I think. Um, and, yep. What's your relation familiar relation to uh, Catalina's now dead husband, um, uh, sister, Brother. aunt, cousin, what do you imagine? Um, I, I guess it depends how old is um, Catalina. Uh, I think she might be uh, like 50. Mm -hmm. Then it's probably my younger brother. Younger brother, okay. So, uh, you've been the the older sister uh, handling the political things, while your younger brother maybe has been the figurehead of the mm -hmm. the company, uh, the face of the company. Uh, is Camilla married right now? Yes. Okay. And what's her husband like? Um, he is very easygoing, um, and a bit of a flirt. Go oh, easygoing flirt. All right. Um, do you have a name for him? Uh, real bad with these names. Um, There's some extra on the playbook list. Yes. The very end. Uh, take one from. Can I say Antonio? Sounds good. Antonio. <laughs> I mean, just ask me for random Hispanic names. I can. <laughs> Um, think, who do I know that I want to cast in this game? <laughs> uh, children? You're the matriarch? Do you imagine you have children or is or the, mm -hmm. the company? Okay, so uh, tell me, like, um, are they in positions in the company or have they left? Yeah, I think there's that typical thing where I've got, like, two children. One of them is the golden child and is an in position in the company and perhaps is actually the one that I want to take over as the figurehead of the company. Interesting. Um, and the other one is, if, if that works with the plot, I don't want to derail things into my own. Sure, no, no. We, establishing NPCs is great. And the other one is like the useless son who, probably the older son, the useless one who buggered off to be an art student or something like that, okay. um, who Could, I resent forever or something like that. 
<laughs> can one of them maybe the favorite one uh be a potential love match that I could end up if you if you wanted to try to match make? Oh, I like that. So, uh, so sure. Golden Child is a, a woman. Yeah. I will change my creative thing I love to art <laughs> so that I can match, <laughs> up, match up with the with the not good one. Okay. I love it. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna show up like part way and be like, oh, this is mine, and be like, no. Um, okay. I love that. Let's 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 give a name uh to the the the, the woman. Uh to the woman golden child. Maria. Uh <laughs> well, turn Maria for yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure, everyone, everyone, everyone in this game is named Maria, that's it. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, a casting I mean, director. Was... I mean, to be fair, in Spain, they're like pretty much everyone is named Maria. <laughs> I just see potential confusion at, that yes. I like. Okay. <laughs> All right, cool. Okay, I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, and the uh, the young man, his I name heard Maria talking. <gasps> Which Maria? Uh. Here I am on the last page of names. Uh, Philippe. Philippe, okay. Felipe. Okay. Felipe, Felipe, thank you. All right. Excellent. That gives us lots of delicious fodder here uh, to, to work from. Uh, and brings us to uh, El Caballero, uh, Miguel Alvarez Nova, Keith. Yes. I am picturing uh, Miguel is one of the scientists at uh when we have to name the company at some point too uh probably would it be named after the fernandez family oh yeah like uh fernandez perfumes or something like that or it could be a generic name uh but anyway he works there as a scientist and i'm picturing uh that that scene you see where you're like they cast him as a scientist that's clearly the wrong like that lab coat doesn't fit. Those glasses aren't made for his face. This is ridiculous. He's supposed to be the hot guy. Oh, but he's a scientist. Okay. Uh, but sort of the male equivalent of if he let his hair down, oh my goodness, suddenly the librarian is, is, is a gorgeous person. Uh, but he's a guy. So he's got the immaculate head of hair and the chiseled abs. Um, I'm picturing him as sort of a benignly clueless type. Like, uh, I'm bumbling around, but I'm trying to do the right thing and, and be a good guy. And uh, I, I have a kind of hot scar that's literally one of the props. I'm <laughs> picturing something kind of on the cheek, like a dimple-ish kind of scar. Uh, an old photograph of what I don't know, but I can't wait for you guys to make that some sort of blackmail material against me and my abuelo's sailboat. Okay. Oh, and a sailboat, and I, I like now that we imply that the the the, the company is uh, uh, by the sea. You know the the location there that uh, uh, adds something. Um, so, uh, 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 are you in charge of the the lab that uh, Maria uh, is in? Do you suppose, or are you just part of that lab? Oh or no, absolutely. Different? We work together closely. Okay. Uh, married, unmarried, fiance, no fiance. I am an eligible bachelor, but I'm, I'm married to the job first. And I would imagine I have like a nephew or something that I'm always having to take care of. You know, so like I'm a family man, but like without the family. Okay. Uh, so they, so they get that uh, uh, in there. Um, and, uh, you know, one of the things in this is that uh, uh, you have kind of a sense of justice for your character, right? Yes. That's, um, where do you suppose that comes from? It, what's his family background like outside of this? Is, are, are his family, you know, uh, honorable people, you know, salt of the earth, or are they maybe a little more questionable? Uh, I think it's more of what they had happened to them. I'm picturing um, the sort of thing where like a large company uh, dishonestly took their farm and uh, and tossed them out to to the winds. And, uh, as, you know, as a young boy, that uh, was a formative experience for Miguel. And he wants to see everyone get a fair shot and uh, at least have the chance to make things work out correctly. Yeah. And when you find out who was actually behind the whole pitching of your family off that farm, that'll be a, a horrible revelation. But yeah. We'll it's funny because it was around here and they built a perfume factory, I think. No, 
that's not what happened. An annex of some kind. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so with that in mind, what I want to do is go back and uh, we will get those relationship questions uh, established. Um, and uh, each of you will, will, will sort of answer those. Those, how do I put this, uh, fashion for us some, some details, uh, but they don't actually give us uh, a mechanical thing. Uh, but I'll come back to what what that is in a, a second. So let me rewind. Uh, there is a mechanical thing called leverage in this game. They're like bonds or relationships. Uh, once you're do, done answering those questions about yourself, I'm going to have you take leverage on someone and give leverage to someone else. So everybody's going to start with some leverage. Uh, this is a little bit of change from how the, the rules work, just to get some of that in play, because leverage is a currency that I'm going to come back to in a second. Um, so, Catalina, you've got two questions there about other people. Let's let's look at those and see if we can get answers. You can suggest them, or we can put them out there and see who wants to, to take up those questions. So let's go through those. Wow. Well, the first one that definitely pops up to me is blank being an object of beauty that I want to possess. Um, I feel like that has to be La Empleada. It's got to sure. be Maria. Oh my, huh? yes. Give it to me. Uh, uh, and is it an object of beauty like you you think you can make her into something else or, or a sexual attraction or what are you imagining? Um, wow. I, th I think that it's like in some sort of psychosexual way, like a sexual attraction, but it's this sort of like she misses her youth and her and her fleeting beauty. Um, but I, yes, I do think it's something like uh, I could really make her into the next, you know, Catalina. I so like it. Speak. I like um, it. Uh, so I think that maybe that gives her leverage over me. Okay. Uh, so uh, then you will mark that down on your sheet. Does that sound right? She will mark it down on her sheet as uh, uh, Catalina owes you one leverage. As far as how she's evaded me, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it might be a combination of like her like focus and dedication. Uh, maybe, maybe also like that dress that you have. Like maybe I gave that to you. Oh, interesting. That could be a yes. That could be it. And, and until that comes out of the closet, like I feel like I haven't really taken possession of you. So I'm waiting for you to show up at some oh. dinner party. Chekhov's dress. Yes. <laughs> Chekhov's dress. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, tell us about that other question. So someone used to work for me. How did that relationship break down? Um, hmm. Keith, tell me what Miguel does for the company again. He is a scent scientist. Right. <laughs> I think um, fragrantitian. I was going to say <laughs> scentologist, but go on. <laughs> what were you going to say, Maria? I think. Like, do we have to answer all the questions? Because I think everyone works for you in this company except maybe Camila, but that doesn't make sense. Well, and it could be an NPC too if you wanted to. And then ah, you okay, can, good. Yeah, I have no problem with it. You doing that? Maybe. I mean, tell me how you feel about this. But maybe Miguel has a bit of a past. Uh, actually, he does. That's one of my questions. <laughs> okay, maybe he's filling it in for me. So maybe you did something for me before that was not you know, above the board. That sounds good. Oh, okay. was I one of your, um, your, your goon squad at some point? Maybe. Well, we'll see. Okay. You were too smart for your, for your own good. I think. <laughs> no, but... that's why you were sent to the science department because it's like, <laughs> you're, you're I too must smart suppress to these urges. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so I think then you're saying that, uh, Miguel will owe you one leverage, right? Uh, yes. Okay. That gives us some leverage to work with. Excellent. Um, now, I do want to ask you this third question you've got on your sheet. Um, and this can be answered by a PC or an NPC. Um, tell us about this extra legal business. What is it, and who have you set up to take the fall? 
Hmm. Who have I set up? Oh, well, okay. So we talked we talked about how we're by the ocean. I think that um, maybe as a way to like increase the profit margins, uh, I had like been dumping some of the hazardous waste into the sea instead of like having paying for it to be expensively shipped or something like that. Okay. And of course, I have forged the documentation to say that Camila was the one who authorized that that order. So okay, so you're getting ready to frame if the her. EPA follows the trail, you know. <laughs> I I like that very much. All right, uh, thank you. I am going to come over now to Maria. Um, tell us about Maria's questions. Uh, you had a very close brush of romance with blank. We're talking ice meat slowly, in almost gets why did it stall? Uh, I think Miguel is the only one that makes sense. Unless we want Felipe in, but like, I think Miguel, if he's okay with it. Mm -hmm. okay. I, okay. I'm definitely down for sexual tension slash awkwardness. Why did it stop? Why did it stall? Uh, someone called me and I literally had to go away because I'm up to here with work. So work is always pulling you apart. Oh, that's yeah. part of what I like about her. She's so dedicated. Uh, also, this goes deeper than you realize. You cut blank and blank in a moment of plotting. What were they planning? Okay. Well, uh, Catalina, definitely. <laughs> okay. And who? I might say Camila just for the weird, like, connection as in, like, they might have been plotting, but also they might be plotting against each other in secret. Like, I honestly wouldn't know. I'm mm -hmm. I'm Pleada, so, in, so. What do you What do you think was going on? You caught them in a conversation, and perhaps you interpreted it as sinister. What did you What do you think? Do you think that maybe they killed uh, uh, the 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 husband uh, uh, of Catalina? Is that what you suspect? Sure. Okay. <laughs> that works. That is a wonderful misunderstanding to work from. And then I overheard talk in the fine area in the barrio that someone you love is in mortal danger. Who is the threat and how can you stop it? I think Felipe is in danger. Okay. And from? Camila. <laughs> okay. And from I Camila? Can... Okay. <laughs> From I his, mean, wow. she... <laughs> I was like, from his own mother or from from Camila? It's believable. No, his own mother because she doesn't like him. <laughs> God forbid he should inherit the company. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but if a little sailing accident were to occur, uh, no one would ask too many questions. Uh, so I have a boat. Yes, I, 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 think I can stop it by talking to him in one of like the art exhibits or something. And uh, so that suggests to me that your two suitors then are uh, Felipe uh, and Miguel. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. And I um, just want to be my love, and I guess that's Felipe. Okay. At least for now. <laughs> wow. And uh, you get to give let someone else leverage over you. Who do you want to give that to? Uh, I think Miguel. Okay. So Miguel, um, uh, she owes you one leverage. And who do you think you have leverage on? I think it can Camila. be reciprocal. I think it's Camila because I've heard, I, I think I have leverage over her because I think I've heard her talk about plotting and I think she's also plotting the death of her, of her son. So Camila. Okay. That seems reasonable. Um, uh, dramatic leverage. So yeah, go ahead and put that on your sheet. Yes. Can I ask Jedi, um, you should sure. whether Camila knows about um, Maria's relationship with um, Felipe? Ooh. I'm fine with either way. Like, if you know about the relationship, that's fine. Like, I don't think it's anything formal, honestly. Is it, is it more interesting that she knows or doesn't know? I'm fine either way. I mean, I thought it was more like casual. I can't fucking decide between these two people. <laughs> so 
I reckon I probably don't know then. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, which which does bring us uh, to uh, uh, Camilla. Um, we've got a couple questions there. Let's let's have you answer those. Well, I think you and Blank have sparred with each other for a long time. I think that's got to be Catalina. Definitely Can't see that going any other direction. Okay. Um, what do I have on them? We could either double down on the death of my brother thing and like make it some sort of like. Oh, uh, a clue that raises suspicions that his death was not what it appeared to be. Um, like some sort of chemical or something, a, a, a misappropriated fragrance that uh, uh, became an undetectable poison. Yeah, that's great. The blue orchid. <laughs> <laughs> um. But it's like the kind of thing where you couldn't just go to the police. They'd, you know, they would be like, there's not enough evidence. But Camilla knows something's going on. Perfect. Um, you gave some heavy advice to blank. I think this could be either Maria or Miguel. Um, I think it's probably Miguel. Okay. What, what, what was the advice from? Is that what got him out from under uh, uh, Catalina's thumb? It's, uh, it's like a... Um, yeah, I think that's that's probably got to be what it was. I think I think the advice was um, about where the future of this business is going and how there's going to be like a great reckoning coming. Um, probably not in those words. <laughs> <laughs> Miguel might not have understood it if you put it in those words. No, <laughs> um, probably like you know. You don't want to be getting into a situation you can't get back out of. Um, and I think it, it it worked out for me um, because I cut him off from Catalina. I don't know if it worked out for Miguel. Well, nice. I guess we'll find out. Uh, so who do you have leverage over? Um... I would say it's probably Catalina because okay. of the ties that I have in the company um, and the things that I know about her and what her actions that nobody else knows. Sounds perfect. Um, and who do you want to give leverage to? Who who has leverage? And it can, they can already have somebody that can be more or somebody that doesn't already have leverage over you. Um. I actually think that Maria has leverage over me because of um, her relationship with my son, even if I don't know about its existence yet. That actually gives her even more leverage over me. Yes. Because because uh, she mysteriously knows things about me that I have no way of understanding why she knows them. <laughs> um, you're in a position to make a sweeping business deal. Um, Who have you been grooming to help you along? Is is that your your is that uh, your golden child, Maria. Yeah, definitely. Okay. And and what's the sweeping business deal? An acquisition, a merger, a new fragrance. Yeah. Um. I think what it is is actually that I want to sell off part of the company for a great <laughs> personal fortune. Um. And it would be greatly beneficial for everybody. Um who is currently on the company board, but it will reduce the size of the company in half. Ooh. So that um, that means that some employees are going to be working for the people that we sell it to and also whoever is in control of the company will have less 
power. Nice. Nice. I like that very much. I don't. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, finally, Miguel. Yes. Tell Please. us about your questions. Uh, so the one is uh, someone knows me from a time you were different, which okay. makes super sense that it's Catalina, but I feel like that might just echo that a little too much, but I don't know. It's up to you. Um. Could even well, have it be an NPC if you want. Nah, I don't really. Well, want we to do also that. established that Camila also knows, so either way it works. Oh, that's true too. Let's do Camilla then, okay? Because uh, then it would make sense for me to give her some leverage too. And uh, were you more civil or more wild? I think we established I'm pretty darn civil now. I was wild back then, uh, at least by my standards. Do we know? Why you change, or is that an open question in the show about like you? We know that something happened, but we haven't seen it on screen. Yeah, I think that that's uh, a cool way to play it. Like okay. you see the cutbacks to him, and he's in his leather jacket, and he's like, <laughs> "What's what's Miguel doing in this flashback?" But he's so different nowadays. What happened? <laughs> we'll find out. I love it. Uh, and my other one is, I got into a big fight with someone. I think. Yeah, let's get Maria involved in there. I got into a big fight with Maria. And I'm one? supposed to tell you about it. Oh, yeah, good question. Uh, <laughs> PC Maria, Maria Arena Garcia. Okay. Um, what would we get into a fight about? I think I also feel like Felipe is kind of a no good Nick. Mm. And like, from where I'm standing, Maria has it all together. Like, I know maybe her. Her social standing isn't where she wants it, but she's a hard worker and she's focused and she gets things done. And um, like, as far as I'm concerned at, at work, she's a model employee, which she should be uh, being la empleada. But uh, I, I think it is also not entirely uh, ingenuous because I also don't want her to be in love with him. Uh, so I, I uh, got into a fight with her about that yeah he maybe he takes advantage of her you know he borrows money from her even though she comes from a wealthy family you know you know asks her to do these things to help him out with his exhibition you know which is really essentially uh, some paintings on the wall at one of the the local cafes you know um so yeah okay uh and i think uh if maria's okay with it that uh she said some things that were maybe inappropriate or hurtful. Um, and that gives me leverage. Oh, I already have leverage over her. So that's nice. You can double up. You can, yeah, you can get more leverage. All right, I guess I will. Okay. If uh, you're okay. I said malas palabras. <laughs> <laughs> Which I means? Bad words. Bad words. More peppers. <laughs> and uh, uh, <laughs> who do you want to give leverage to? Oh, I think uh, Camila. Okay. Oh, and did we establish Camila's brother slash Catalina's husband's name? Oh, uh, uh, let's say uh, no. We, oh, yeah, it is oh. Antonio. No, well, no, he's Antonio alive. Is yeah, Antonio husband. is my husband. Uh, so let's say Eduardo for. Oh, the oh right, the brother. Okay. Yes. Eduardo Fernandez. Okay. And Antonio something else. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Yeah, Antonio's kind of been on the fringe here. This f flirty guy. He might be the comic relief of the show. Um, and you're here to right a wrong. Yes. Uh, Eduardo Fernandez was my mentor. Um, maybe he uh, had something to do with getting me out of my bad situation, uh, which is interesting because his sister and his wife would not have necessarily wanted that. Um, <laughs> But I feel that uh, he had big dreams and noble goals and uh, that the Fernandez company is now being drugged through the muck by, by these women in charge, Camila and Catalina. And uh, I'm, not sh I'm not smart enough to know that they're breaking the law, but I'm pretty sure they're doing something wrong, at least uh, against Eduardo's memory. 
he, he would he, mentor to you, you know, tell you about things. The, you were the son he never had. Excellent. All right. Let me tell you a little bit mechanically to, what to keep in mind. I'm just going to take a couple minutes to go through that. Um, and then I want to do an initial scene where we get a chance to see everybody and, and mix it up. Um, and then we'll take our five minute break. Um, so let's start with this. So whenever you go to roll on any of those basic moves, and there is a tab with all of those basic moves, uh, you have a personal question for your character. So for example, Miguel's is, are you handling things head on and without guile? So you look at that question and the two questions that are on the move. So let's look at the first basic move is demand what you deserve. Are you offering something of value in return? This is, and do they love you in this moment? You answer those questions. For every yes, you roll with plus one. So you ask your personal question and then the two questions that are on the move and that determines what you're gonna roll with. So it could be zero could be plus three. Um, and every time you go to do a move, that's what you're going to do. You're going to be checking those questions to answer those. Um, and so that's the basic principles on, on that. And we've got, got some standard basic moves they cover a lot. We don't have that many moves. Uh, so we may have to kind of stretch them uh, a little bit in some cases. I want to point to one of the basic moves that has something interesting on it to keep in mind. You have a move called accuse someone of lying. When you accuse someone of lying to their face, you roll with questions, get those answers. One of the things that you can choose is you are right. If you choose that, then what you're accusing them of, they've done. And we may have to retcon to show how they were involved with that. So keep that in mind that that's a dramatic changeover move. That can change things. We'll, we'll, we'll get permission between both the players, but it's one of those things that is a, a more kind of enforcing move. The other move that's a little bit different is the process your feelings out loud. Uh, essentially, that's where we see you standing on the balcony in the rain, looking off in the distance. Um, we get a montage of what you're thinking about. Um, when we do that, uh, we ask everybody, the other players, the members of the audience, whether they're rooting for you. If if they say they're rooting for you, you get a plus one to your roll. And then uh, you get to roll, and it, that will set things up. So those are the basic moves. Now, the other moves that are available are flashback moves. You'll see we have a tab with those. Um, these moves cost leverage. There's flashback to a deal, where you flashback to a deal you made with somebody, you spend leverage, and you roll with plus however much you spent. Um, and then you may get to say what they promised or what you promised, or if you fail, you may be put in a much worse position. There's, of course, flashback to preparations, which shows how you set things up, how you, how you arrange for somebody to be someplace, how you stowed something, how you fabricated some evidence. Um, that's another one spend, uh, that actually just costs stress rather than leverage. And then the last one is the reveal a shocking truth about another PC. Um, you spend three leverage to activate that one. And that's another one that can change what's going on in the game. Uh, so those are all ones that We'll, when we go to it, we flash back to see what's happened. In the game, we may flash back just to show us some, some scenes, but if we want to do something mechanically where we change things up, these are the moves to do that. Now, uh, you notice I mentioned stress as one of the costs for one of the moves there. Uh, you'll see that you have a stress track. Uh, as you take stress, um, you'll switch it to... Uh, uh, the, uh, the next side there. Uh, some of them have X's, which means nothing special happens. Some of the stress pack boxes have question marks. Some of them have exclamation points when they get activated. Uh, 
when you get a question mark one, you have to choose one of those conditions, either distracted or frazzled. When you get an exclamation point, you have to choose bitter or rageful. So as you get more stressed, you're going to get to mark more conditions. When that happens, when you take that stress, we'll stop off to look at what that means, okay? But I just want to point to you that that's the only harm track that we have for the game. Um, when you run out of stress, you get to meltdown. Um, and uh, uh, you give everybody uh, a leverage on you when you go, go nuts. All right. The last mechanic that I want to talk about is experience points. This is one of those games where you get five XP and you get a, a, a new move. How you mark XP is this, is each of you has an audience reaction. And the other players are the audience and the GM. So, uh, for example, uh, we've got uh, El Jefe. Um, uh, El Jefe gets to mark experience when the audience gasps at the horror of her actions. So if any of us go, <gasps> um, or we're shocked by what she's done, she gets to mark XP. Uh, so keep that in mind. I'll, I'll try and monitor it. It's, it's, a, it's a thing to, to, to keep forefront. Uh, for Maria, uh, uh, we get to, she gets to mark XP when somebody says, pobrecita, uh, which means poor baby. Um, and and, and uh, essentially when, when something bad happens to her. Um, this is what my mom used to say maybe when I was growing up and I was whining. Um, so uh, that is pobrecita. Um, next is uh, La Donna. Um, uh, La Donna uh, it marks XP uh, when we roll our eyes at your meddling. Um, in the actual book, there are different audience members that are represented by this, but for the purposes of this, it's when you meddle and we go, ugh, we will mark XP. And lastly, um, uh, when, uh, when we fall just a little in love with Miguel, when that happens, when, when we see that side, when he, when he, he, he draws our heartstrings, that's when Miguel is going to get to, to mark XP. Any questions about that? Okay. Um, and that's one of those things we'll see in play. I will tell you, it's a mechanic that uh, takes a little bit to get used to. It's easy to forget in the heat of play. Um, if somebody says, oh, I'd like to roll back and, and hand that off, uh, you can do that. Um, uh, so that's no problem. We'll try and try and keep track of that. So it is after the funeral. Uh, we've done that that montage of of the the body being lowered into the ground, um, and we're at the wake, the 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 gathering after this. All of the employees have been invited. Um, it's it's beautifully done up. A lot of money has been spent uh, to uh, uh, get this to look beautiful. Members of the press are there. Uh, people from rival corporations have come to play their pay their respects, and there's lots of rumblings because no one knows exactly who's going to take over. That hasn't been decided yet. Um, and uh, so we take up with, with that scene. Um, as we come in uh, uh, there, uh, and this is a, a question for both Maria uh, and uh, Camilla, you have noticed that now that this sort of gathering has, has, has uh, come and people are eating, there is booze flowing freely. And uh, Felipe, Felipe has had too much to drink. And he is getting louder and and more excitable and maybe even a little bit angry. Um, uh, so uh, let's start with you, Maria. Maria, uh, you're across the room talking with some of the other uh, uh, lab nerds um, who are, are you know, oh, how about the Floridine thing? So we got to do that thing with this thing. And they're trying to keep you in that conversation. But you see Felipe over there. What do you do? What is Felipe doing? <laughs> He's, Other than like as I think I'm not particularly 
he's talking to his sister Maria. Oh, you think you're just so great. He just, you know, but our father's dead now. You'll see. What do you want to do? I'm not going to interfere until it goes to shit. So I'll just okay. talk to the lab nerds. All right. So so uh, uh, then Camilla, um, your son is creating a scene. What do you do? Yeah. So um, Camilla slowly and deliberately um, excuses herself from the conversation that she's been in with uh, oh, oh, some yes, of yes, yes. the imported buyers and... Um, makes eye contact with Felipe from like quite a long distance away. Um, and she's, she's going to try and see whether the deadly eye contact is enough to silence him without actually having to do anything. <laughs> How drunk do you think he is? I fear the worst as I always, always do. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, he, he, he looks at you and He's had enough to drink that he doesn't break eye contact. He actually probably takes takes a bigger swig there um, as you as you make eye contact with him. Um, uh, so so you've kind of got him in line. Let me let me talk to the other two because this is now the big scene. All the cameras have kind of focused on this. People have stopped talking. They're watching to see what happens. Um, Miguel. He's a he. What a jerk this guy is. Yeah, he really is. And normally, I would use this opportunity to try to to point uh, for Maria, either of them, both of them, to say, "Look at this guy." Uh, but at this, I am still so distraught uh, at the moving service for Eduardo that, like, they're just tears streaming down my face. And that, like, I, I'm too sad to actually care for myself and and try to look somewhat composed oh my god um, like i i'm like torn between oh poor baby and <laughs> the other one <laughs> i just fell in love a little because he's oh a yeah baby. absolutely mark xp as we get that shot of you uh, uh uh you know exposing your soul how much this means and with that bearing of honest deliberate <laughs> soul we probably cut to catalina the music changes catalina Look at this opportunity. So I think Catalina is just sort of, she's not even looking at uh, Felipe. She's just looking at Miguel. Um, but she snaps her fingers and two of her, you know, no neck thugs show up, right? Okay. Escort, uh -huh. escort that embarrassment out of this party. Okay. Okay. It dishonors his father's name. Um, and yeah, they'll uh, they'll go over to do that. It's, it's kind of public thing. So actually, let's look at the move here. I think this is your thug move. Yes. And uh, we're using Roll for Your Party. Um, I've got the link in the page, but I'll also drop it here in the chat. So... Let's look at your own question. Your own question is, are you taking control of the situation? Sounds like it, yes. Okay. <laughs> that definitely seems like it. Um, this seems like a pretty easy job. They've got to escort a drunk, drunk young man out. Um, Wait, are they, are they escorting Felipe or are they escorting Miguel? Felipe, Felipe right? Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I thought I thought you were talking about Miguel. Which I was, was like, like, Miguel is sober. He's crying like this. Sober, no, like everybody. I was. I, the way you worded it made it seem like he you wanted to take Miguel away because he was crying a lot. Oh no. <laughs> so, so Felipe uh, is is drunk. You're taking control of the situation. They're in good health. It seems to me that you're rolling with a plus three. Dang. There's Dude. almost no chance that this could go horribly awry. <laughs> Is there any interfere mechanic in this game? Just out of curiosity, I don't think there is. I wanted to interfere if the Great, thugs are so. coming. So, <laughs> uh, well, what we'll, do is, we'll see let's, the let's 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 see what happens, and uh, you may be able to kind of we'll maybe play for the through the outcome. We'll see what what occurs there. Yeah. All right. I'll go ahead and roll these two. 
Oh, that's a 10. All right. So uh, uh, your target chooses two. Um, uh, so I think um, they uh, that these two approach and do cow him and uh, we'll start escorting him out. Um, and I think that Felipe gets realizes how much power you have here. I think that that Felipe sees you take control, you know, essentially uh, 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 scares him. You know, his uncle's dead. You're his aunt and you've stepped in in the middle of this. So I think you're going to get one leverage over Felipe. Sounds about right to me. Camilla. Catalina just sent her thugs and is dragging your son out. So quick clarification here. Sure, sure. Is this, is Felipe uh, your son or is he? Uh, it's Camilla's it? son. Okay. So he, so this is his uncle. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, so Camilla. Wow. Um, what were the name of the two thugs that went over? Uh, what Rodrigo and, uh, uh, um, Rodrigo. I had names for him here. Oh, yeah, you've got names. Oh, awesome. I think this is Carlos and Rico. They're the two. Carlos and Rico. Okay. Right, the two. Um, I think Cam Camilla will sweep over very calmly and will, um, break out in a slight smile and look at Carlos and say, Carlos, how is your wife trying to diffuse this situation? Rico, how is your daughter? They, they will, will, will stop. They, 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 they acknowledge your authority. They've kind of put the strong arm on, on your son. So, you know, he's recognized the air of his ways. No, they're, 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 we're fine. They're fine, uh, uh, LaDonna. Uh, they're very, very fine. It is good for you. Uh, it's very good that you, you ask about them. Very, very good. Uh, do, do, do they, 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 they speak of you and ask about... Yes. And yes, it's sort of like... And the, um, and the thing I, I gave her to try for her feet, it's working? Uh, no. Yes, of. yes. As she puts the ointment on her feet. Uh, uh, the, the, the bunion, uh, it goes down. Um, it's, uh, so, yeah. It's, it's it's good. It's much much appreciated, with with that. Yeah. Um, so we'll give you a, yeah an XP for that. Um, uh, so you're kind of talking them. Uh, you kind of soften the edge. You actually think that Carlos and Rico maybe if you hadn't stepped in, they might have taken your your son out and maybe maybe roughed him up a little, which you might not have objected to too much. Hmm. Um, well, let me let me cut from there to Maria. Maria, you kind of go to maybe step to to see what's going on, and then you see uh, uh, Felipe's mother kind of of interfere. Felipe certainly now is quieter, more subdued. And I see two thugs. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm gonna go over to Felipe and ask if he's all right. Uh, all right. Uh, so you kind of walk up. The two thugs are there. His mother is there. Um, uh, Camilla, uh, you see, you know her. The, the lab scientist Maria comes over, um, and uh, uh, so he's like, "Oh yes, uh, the, the, help me out, Maria. Uh, we should go. This this party is is nothing." Um, and he kind of grabs to tug on you to 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 essentially use you as leverage that he can leave without losing too much face. All right. I want to see if, if there's any ulterior motive to that. If there's any what? Ulterior motive to that. Like, I, like maybe spot us something out of place. Use that okay. Thing. Sure. Let's, uh, let's have you, uh, uh, make that, uh, what is, let's, let's check your main question. I'm uh, nodding over my head because this is normal. Okay. Um, and, uh, have you been intimate with this person recently? 
I'm not super intimate, I don't think. I don't think we got in there. Okay. Are you free of other distractions? I think so. Okay, okay. Uh, let's have you roll with a plus one then. All right, so I will roll the pip, the one with the pips. And that is a nine. That is a nine. And also, I think I get a plus one when acting something about my love with my suitors. When you're acting to strengthen the relationship. Which Do you think you're I acting don't... to strengthen the relationship? Oh, wait, never mind then. Sorry. Okay. I'm just asking. Well, um, it's it's more like I'm guessing because I, in the end I am going to escort him. I just want to make sure it's oh, like nothing's going to happen with these people or anything so, else. So what what is your question here for the, the spot something out of place? All right. Uh... Let me think. <laughs> sure. Uh, what? How does your character feel about Camilla? He desperately wants her approval, but he'll never say that. He'll never admit that. Desperately wants her approval. Um, you know, because his father, you know, you see him over flirting with essentially a janitorial crew and anything else that has, you know, two legs and a dress. Um, and uh, uh, so he's not not a man he can look up to. Camilla, at least, as much as he resents her, she's a powerful figure. He desperately wants her approval. Okay. Does that seem reasonable? Yeah, that's reasonable. Okay. Uh, so uh, let me come back then to... Uh, uh, our Miguel Maria goes to the rescue of Felipe. It's a bad choice. <laughs> uh, so I think I am over by the bar drinking like uh, club soda, probably, and just talking incoherently to the bartender who's like, I don't know, I don't know what this guy is talking about, I don't know why he's still talking to me. Um, and on, let me make sure I know the family relations. Felipe is the nephew of Ev Eva Eduardo. Yeah. Um, and I believe at least the move implies that we don't know that the thugs are Catalinos. What do you think? Uh, I, I think that, that it's pretty well known. Okay. Um, you worked alongside them maybe a little bit. Yeah. I think I wouldn't know that because I have all this misconception about Camila. So <laughs> So Camila is talking to the thugs, correct? Camila is talking to the thugs. She's kind of talked them down. They're employees of a company. Um, and it looks like Maria's like uh, getting ready to to take Eduardo away and go off with him somewhere. I'm not taking the dead man out away with Felipe. Felipe. Eduardo. Sorry. I apologize. Tell him, tell him, why not? A lot of names. First session. Like, you know what? I'm going to take Eduardo. Why not? Let's go. Uh, actually, I think I'm picturing that Miguel has a bit of an inferiority complex uh, and is sort of like, ah, oh, she already made up her mind. Uh, forget about it. You know, I don't stand a chance. Let me, let me go console Catalina because she must be really distraught at this. Uh, at losing her husband, and, you know, no matter how many times it happens, you can't get used to it. Uh, can you still count them on one hand? I don't know, but <laughs> I head over to Catalina, making no effort to hide the, the tears. Um, and uh, I, I, I'll walk up, and I it looks like I'm going to go in for a hug. Uh, and, and Michael, I'll let you decide how she responds from there. Um, yeah, so you, you're you not drunk? No, you may be you're forgiven for with thinking that I am, because I'm very maudlin. <laughs> um, you're a very handsome young man, so I think I would not be so quick to uh, refuse um, that interaction. Um, I think you see uh, Catalina, and she's got, like, uh, the like the a black dress on, black heels, and she's got the black eye patch and the and the veil and like a sprig of baby's breath in her hair. And 
she kind of like holds you in tightly. Catalina. Just... Such a shame. Such a wonderful man. Such a loss for the company and for you. For you. And I squeeze you like probably a little bit too hard. Uh... My eyes kind of, or my <laughs> eye pops a little bit like, ooh. <laughs> It's like, you must be so distraught. Oh, it, it's true. I'm I'm devastated at, at this loss. I don't know how I will ever recover. None of us do. Would you would you like to pay your final respects with me? I would be honored if you oh. would go with me. I'm sorry, actually, are we at the funeral or the reception or am I? The reception afterwards. Okay, so there's no dead bodies around. No. <laughs> Never mind that then. I we assume that go... there's there's like a, a shrine with pictures of him oh, and sure, that yeah. kind of thing that you can go to. Probably, you know, an eight an audio visual display on a screen of moments from his life and that people are kind of going by to 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 look at. Who are arranges... lighting candles? Was it Catalina, Camilla? Outsourced to a third party? I would think Catalina, uh, but maybe, Camilla, did you have some influence as well? I probably would have insisted on changing a few things in the family tradition. Sure. Mm. What I'm wondering is, like, was there a one-upsmanship of Catalina's like, well, it has to be this nice because it's my husband, and then Camilla's like, well, it has to be this nice because it was my brother, and then it's like this ridiculous... Because when Lowell said the audiovisual display, I'm like, is there a 3D hologram of him here? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Catalina has arranged for like a large uh, flat screen television, um, you know, with with this the slideshow and and the music coming out of these speakers. Um, but maybe there is like a more traditional um, shrine or something to him uh, that Camilla and her family kind of insisted on. Okay. Not, not very flashy, in my opinion. But <laughs> So let's make it super awkward. Uh, and if you agree to pay your respects, I take you to the one that Camilla set up uh, instead. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. And and so you'll be, be dragged over there. Um, y- your thugs are still kind of pinned by uh, Camilla at this point, uh, 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 Catalina. Um, what do you think of this Miguel guy? I think... Um, you know, now that our relationship has changed, he's a bit of a wild card, you know, now that he's no longer under my thumb, you know, he could be, he could be up to something right now. I'm glad you have that high opinion of his planning abilities. (laughs) I think that says more about you than about him. (laughs) Everybody's planning something. So, I, so I, I, a little suspicious, a little uh, on guard, I think. So, anything you want to get out of this interaction, Catalina or Miguel, or are you just kind of trying to to size each other up? Um, I definitely think I'm trying to determine if this is like sincere. Um, you know, just 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 to to know that. Um, I do know that he kind of had that that connection to to Eduardo. Um, but yeah, I'm keeping an eye on that. I'm a little surprised that he's kind of being this friendly to me. And also trying to see if he... <laughs> I was going to say, is that spot something out of place then? Yeah, does it, does it, do you think it rises to the level of a move? I think it definitely could. Okay, well, let's, let's, go, let's go to the system. Engage the mechanics. Something out of place in a social interaction. Uh, I don't think we fit intimate. I don't think I'm necessarily free of other distractions, especially because Camilla's kind of interfering with my with my thugs. That seems um, fair. Am I trying to take control? Uh, I could maybe say that in the sense that I'm trying to determine what his angle is, right? Makes what sense. Do you think, what do you think, that seems good. Let's have you roll. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna clear. Done. Ooh. Oh, oh my. It's a four. All right. So we cut from that moment 
Okay. <laughs> uh, over to a gentleman approaching Catalina. Uh, Miss Fernandez. Um, I'm sorry at this this time. Do, do you have a moment? I have to speak with you about something somewhat uh, awkward. So you, so cut to Camilla, you mean? Or? Cut, cut to Camilla. Okay. I'm going to get these names so wrong every turn. Okay. Um, uh, mm. uh, Miss Fernandez, uh, do, may, may I? E yes. Um, but she doesn't actually move until the moment has sort of like past and the, the the situation is quiet i think she literally just stands there and waits for everyone okay. to sort of like calm down and then right and and i'm assuming at this point felipe has moved off these thugs have probably drifted back across and this gentleman will say uh my name is bartolo i am a private investigator employed by your brother before his death he had suspicions and he pulls out an envelope and he hands it to you and it says on it in the event of my death mm. and that's where we'll take our five minute break awesome
So, may I ask uh, 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 all of you, um, when we come back from the commercial break, are we still at the reception or are we moving to sometime later? What's what's the general consensus here from you? I think I'd be interested in moving forward. Okay. All right. Um, so so let's let's go forward. Um, I want to defer just a little bit on the payoff from the envelope. But we're going to do that after I check in and see when we come back to you, Maria. How, you know, we're, we're some time later, how long later, and, and where do we see Maria's character? I'm working. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, is Miguel in the lab with you as well, or is it just you? I think Miguel's in the lab. Like, this is our regular work day. Everything's gone back to normal. Like, I don't know about the- Has everything gone back to normal, or is there some tension in the air? <sighs> I, I imagine there's a little bit of awkwardness, like, um, I think everything's back to normal. Yeah, that's <laughs> absolutely perfect. You know, but I'm sort of like, ah, she should have known to pass me the the chlor of, I all, the only chemicals I know have nefarious terms. <laughs> Sodium pentothal over there. <laughs> <laughs> the chloroform. Uh, but whatever, I, I feel like our working relationship, she should have known to hand me that and she didn't. Uh, Maria, could you please hand me? Oh, yes, 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 yes. And I hand you something completely different. <laughs> she seems off. This is not the the chlorine. This is uh, so. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually give you the chlorine this time. They're clearly labeled. We organized the lab together. I'm surprised you don't know. Uh, Never mind. All right. I am trying to figure this sh guy this guy out because <laughs> like <laughs> I as a player might have an idea, but she has no like Maria the player has an idea, but Maria the character right, doesn't. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you're like <laughs> it, it, it seems really off. You're out of your depth? Perhaps. Um yeah. Um, uh, well in over your head, I don't think so. Uh, okay. This is not like a, a situation where I'm in over my head. Uh, All right. Have I been intimate with this person recently? No. Okay. Are you fear of a distraction? <laughs> <laughs> Are you fear of a distraction? Well, I'm working, so no. Okay. So I roll straight Tyler, up. Tyler, call. Yeah, but it makes sense. Yeah. What? Did I roll? Where are my dice? <laughs> oh, there we go. That's a uh, eight. That's an eight. So, so, what is it that that you want to know? What is the question that you have? What's your What's your character getting hoping to get from me? <laughs> uh, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, uh, eternal. Dying a fan, but I feel like in in the smaller scale of this scene, um, whew, trying to think of how to say it. Uh, ideally, to say to, to to talk about what happened, like at the um, at the reception. I reception. Guess. Yeah. yeah. So to, I for for you to bring it up. All right. So I'm like. Miguel, what's going on? I just I needed the the the, the chlorium. I gave you the chlorium. <sighs> Maria, I can't lie to you. Dramatic turn. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> to see you pining after Felipe. It hurts me to my very core. He does not deserve you. Um. Turn away at your silence. <laughs> but the heart wants what it wants. I. It should not affect us at work. Uh. 
is this your passion? I mean, are you are you breaking through that shell? Are you, is this like the first time you've declared your love to Maria like this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Is yeah. it? Because because we have a move for that. Yeah, yes. we do. Yeah, I will agree with that. Okay. Uh, are you handling things head on yes. without Kyle? Yeah, I feel like that. <laughs> I think so. Okay. Uh, I am not dressed to impress. I am in very ill-fitting clothes. <laughs> Do they believe that you are single? I think so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going with a plus two. Plus two. Uh, let's get some oranges. Two dice. It's weird that they rolled middle, but I have an 11 and actually oh. a 12. Or no, an 11. But uh, my move, uh, Grand Gesture, uh, you choose. Oh, wait, maybe not. This wasn't a Grand Romantic Gesture. That's a separate no. thing. Okay, never mind. Uh, so, Maria, you have to pick two from the Express Your Love Passionately results. Uh, uh, I think I'm going to uh, mark off stress. Okay. Trying to hide your own feelings. Yeah. And I reveal a secret they probably shouldn't. Yes. <laughs> what is it that you reveal? I'm, I'm worried about him. Why? Oh. Well, I basically tell I basically tell Miguel that I I think someone's out to get him. <laughs> someone or someone in particular? He yeah, what burn. words do you say? How vague are you? Yeah, yeah. Like, I, that's what I say. Uh, Miguel, like, uh, Felipe might be in danger. Felipe? Yes. From whom? I cannot imagine that he would loom large enough in anyone's personal landscape. And let's cut from there. The camera cuts to Camilla. <laughs> um, and uh, Well directed. Yeah, Camilla, where, where do we... Where do we, when the camera comes back to you, where do we see you? In my office in the um, buildings. Okay. Um, and I I presume I'm looking at the contents of the envelope, even though I've definitely read them by this time, but I'm like musing over them. All right. What, what do you do now that you know these facts that the audience still doesn't know? Yes. Um, well, I have. I think that I talk to my personal assistant um, and I ask them to call Maria into my office. All right. Uh, so we're Thanks in that Maria. middle. <laughs> Yeah, good point. Uh, Maria, the employee, Maria, not Maria, my okay. daughter, Maria. Okay. Um, uh, so uh, we actually kind of retcon to that scene where there was about to be something else that said, and the, somebody popped in and said, uh, Maria, Miss um, Fernandez would like to see you now. Oh, of course. Now. Uh, yes, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> and I do rush over. So our transition is Maria coming in, in the door uh, to, to see you, Camilla. Mm. Is there anything you need, ma'am? Maria, how long have you been working with us now? Uh, in general or since I got the promotion? In in general. Oh, in general, I've been here for uh, about a year or so. And do you enjoy working with us? Yes, it, it it's it's a good job, good work. I'm glad to hear it. And in the time you've been working here, have you had much chance to work with Catalina? What do you mean? Am I not being clear enough, Maria? I... I'm 
I'm not like what's going on with you're the chief um lab assistant yes you you know where yes. all the chemicals are in the lab yes I, I yes I do know where the chemicals are what does that have to do with Catalina if someone wanted to find say name some poisonous chemical <laughs> you would know where to look for it wouldn't you why do you need this? Oh, I don't need it. I'm just asking you what you've seen. I think I'm sort of tossing up between uh, trying to spot something out of place um, and trying to demand. <laughs> what I, I, think deserve. I, I think I want. I want to spot out of place as something out of place as well. Okay. But, well, but let, maybe, let's start, maybe let's start not. With, okay. Let, let's start with Camilla. How, how do you think this is? Are you are you demanding something from her? Are you accusing her of lying? Are you That's trying to I spot something on her? I think you're I, demanding. Well, yeah. Let her decide. <laughs> yes, I would accuse you of lying if you'd said anything definitive, okay. but you haven't. So I think I have to demand what I deserve. All right. Um, so. Uh, is this in service to somebody else, this this demand that you're making? No. Not Unless the you think it's of your dead brother? Yeah, exactly. I think you could argue that, but... Yeah. Um, are you offering her something of value in return? And what would that be? I think it's probably... Um, what I'm offering her is job security and praise for her work. Okay. Like, you know, we think you've been doing a very good job, Maria. We're just investigating some irregularities kind of thing. Um, do they love they you in love this you. moment? Definitely. No, I don't think so. <laughs> in this moment. So, so roll with plus two and let's see what happens. That's a oh boy, <laughs> that <laughs> that's is, not great. That is a five. Wait, five or six right. because it's a plus two. It's a uh, six. Right. Yes. Six. Same, it doesn't matter. Same tragedy. <laughs> same tragedy. Uh, so I'm going to say that she is going to to, to hem and haw, um, and uh, we'll cut away from that to Catalina and. The person is pushing the papers across the desk to you. Here you are. All of the notations on the dumping. And uh, as you can see, I have very carefully forged Camilla's signature on every sheet. I think if you look carefully, not uh, even her husband Antonio could tell her dif the difference. And I should know. And we camera pans up to Antonio. <laughs> oh my God, amazing. Perfect, perfect. I hope you enjoy your vacation, Antonio. Oh, but I definitely I definitely will once we get this all settled out. Uh, um, you know, it'll, it'll be good. This is all you wanted? That's all you needed? Oh. Well, Antonio, uh, I am a woman with many needs. And now that I've lost my husband, perhaps there is one more thing you could do for me. Perhaps. But don't forget you promised me that cute little lab assistant. All in good time. But... Perhaps I should test you and see if, if you really are up to the task. I have very high expectations for Maria's suitors. Not just anyone. Will it's fit the Maria! Bill. <laughs> for, for assistant Dr. Lab Science Maria. Dr. Garcia. Dr. Garcia, yes. <laughs> And so uh, we would fade to black 
uh, on on that scene as he reaches across uh, the the desk to you. Um, do we cut away from that or do we come back to you? What do you think there? Um, did you have anything in mind after that? Or did I have anything in mind after That's, that? I'm asking you. I threw a bunch in your court there. So I think um, we, we we fade to black and then wipe and then um, we come back and it's uh, you know uh, Kylina sitting up in the bed and the back shot of him like putting his pants on and the belt and whatnot and I, I kind of reach over for like my my uh, landline telephone you know with like the, the the pearl lining and stuff like that and I pick it up and ring it and I say and I I'm calling. Uh, calling Maria's uh, phone. Do you have a cell phone at work or am I calling your extension? Extension, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I love how everyone wants to get all of Maria and right. Chica. Yeah, like, this is probably <laughs> after you had that that very strange conversation with, with Camilla that, that if, ended oddly. Can I follow up on that since it was a miss? Like I can, like maybe, like I don't know how you wanted to follow up that miss. Lowell, but well, I just did. Oh, that, that was, was the miss. Yeah, that was the miss. That Antonio's betrayal is the miss. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, but I think it probably call makes sense move. if you wanted to take uh, more leverage over me because you now know that I've been asking about poisonous chemicals. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that seems fair. That seems okay. fair. <laughs> okay. I and, and I do want to say Camilla should also mark XP for her meddling there with Maria. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. So let, let's let's do. A, you call the Dr. Garcia uh, on her extension. Um, we'll cut to the two two shot. You know, uh, each of you on your phone. Uh yes. Who is this? And I, I sort of pause and hold the phone on my chest, and I wait for uh, Antonio to to walk out of the room. I say. Oh, Maria, it's me. Oh, uh, Mrs. Reyes, or Miss Reyes. <laughs> oh, it's so good that you recognize the sound of my voice. You know, you're like a daughter to me. You know uh, that? I, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching your progress in the company. You're a very hard worker. I appreciate your work ethic. Uh, uh, thank you. Um, is, is there something bothering you? Well, indeed there is. You see, I've been investigating my late husband's death. <sighs> and I've come across something very disturbing. Um, what do you need me to do about it? What is it? Well, as a scientist, you would know about dangerous chemicals, right? <laughs> You're about the second person you, to ask me that same question today. Oh, really? Yes. How strange. I've come across some, some documentation that's very startling. But that that's that's something we can discuss at a, at a later time, perhaps over tea. Uh, but tell me, Eduardo's brother, Antonio, we all okay. know him to be a bit of a, a skirt chaser, if you would, a bit of a flirt. Okay. Has he ever treated you in an inappropriate way? Uh, no. <laughs> Why well, keep your eye out for him anyway? There's something so about him. I know. I'm afraid he might try something. Something that might get him imprisoned. Ooh. I just want to look out for you, mi amiga. You are you're so special to me. Like a, you're like a beautiful flower that has yet to bloom. 
uh, thanks, Miss Reyes. <laughs> and I'm so completely confused. And I think at this point, I'm starting to get in on and over my head because I'm like, <laughs> because it's like mainly <laughs> the two people asking for poisonous chemicals in a row. <laughs> people that you already suspected were involved in nefarious things. Yes. Right. So in addition to all of your very advanced chemical work, also <laughs> look out for three different plots going on at once. So yes, you got this. Don't I, worry. I think I think uh, uh, definitely Pobrecita uh, for oh, Maria yeah. there on that, um, and uh, uh, El Jefe uh, for the Antonio seduction there. Um, oh, yes. So what I want to do is I want to cut to uh, Miguel, um, and then we'll see. How we want to want to branch things from there. Um, so Miguel, you poured your heart out, and nothing came of it. Well, I mean, I got to find out that my rival is in trouble. I guess that's something. So, so when we come, when the camera comes back to you, where are you? Are you with another one of the PCs? Or are you with an NPC? Or do we see you watching something? What do we see? I definitely want to end up with one of the PCs. Um, everyone wants to talk to Maria. Nobody wants to talk to Miguel. Uh, Let's see. I want to talk um, to Miguel. Oh, wow. <laughs> but then we'd have another scene with Maria talking yeah. to Miguel. Uh, I think I already talked to Catalina. Let me go to Camilla. Um, where? Where? Where do you find Camilla? I think, given your props, Camilla, it makes sense to be at your beautiful mansion. Ooh, uh, an after hours conversation. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Let's see okay. what happens. Uh, it, it's, of course, a, a close. You know, it's a it's a, a fast car drive over to the mansion from the 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 labs. Um, uh, tell me something cool about this mansion, Camilla. Um, it is an old heritage mansion that's then been renovated to be super, super modern. So some of it is um, really old in character, and then there's these, like, glass domey bits on the edges um, that look very labish. That is it is it garish or stylish? Uh depends who you ask. Okay. But I think I think it's probably garish. All right. Um uh Senora, uh there is a a doctor Dr. Uh, Alvarez Nova uh, who has arrived to speak with you. Yes, send him in. You may you may go in. Thank you. Um, and Doña when Camilla's... Camilla, I, I'm sorry, please. Yeah, when Camilla sees Miguel, she's like, Oh, my poor Miguel. Oh, you must still be hurting after Eduardo's death. I oh, know how goodness. close you were. He wasn't, but now he starts to tear up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, please take a seat. In truth, Donia, I, I am still, but we must persevere and, and move on. and and think of the living, of those dear to us uh, that, that still walk with us. Quite right. Uh, I, I, I hate to impose upon you with all that you have been going through as well, but I have worries, and, and, and you have always given me the most excellent advice in the past, meaningful look. Uh, I I am worried for two people. Do I do I know your relationship with Maria, Doctor Garcia, Maria? Um, uh, my relationship with Camila. Yeah, I'm not sure what I would know about that. I think you wouldn't know anything because she was about to tell you about okay. it, and she got called away by Camila. <laughs> So maybe I can put my foot in my mouth a little bit. Um, your 
you you know of course dr garcia she is she is an asset to our lab my work would not be possible without her i could not speak in in more glowing terms about uh, all of her characteristics oh yes Wist wistful look up lost track of thought briefly i am in love <laughs> yeah <Mark XP>. and... <laughs> xp uh but uh uh, forgive me, I, I lose I lose my train of thought. Is this advice of the heart, Miguel? Was it that obvious? That look in your eyes, it reminds me of me when I was young. You're definitely going to end up marking XP here. So, I mean... Like, <laughs> I, I, I agree, I agree. She just does not look at me the same way that I, I look at her. Oh... Miguel, to appeal to a woman, a smart woman like Dr. Garcia. A genius, perhaps. You must get very close to her. Not physically. I mean, physically also. But <laughs> you, must, you must be not just, not just there um, as a lover. You must be there as a friend. You must share her confidence, discover all her secrets, and only then will you truly be able to ha win her love. Secrets, eh? Yeah, I think that's meddling. <laughs> <laughs> but Doña Camila, there is another barrier besides all of my own obvious shortcomings. Oh, yes? What is she it? Has eyes for another. Who could it be? Surely there is no one who is your equal in the company. Your son, Felipe. And she has to hide a look of shock. She has <laughs> like, to look off in the distance to like hide her shock. Felipe. Yes, I believe she cares for him deeply. She's worried about his safety. She thinks some 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 bad fortune. Some malice swear that they may, may, may come down upon him from the heavens, and she wishes to protect him from this. It is clearly Catalina. an expert ex, expression of her affection for him. Thank you, Miguel, for coming to me with this. You did the right thing. <laughs> uh -huh. um, for now, you must focus on, on your relationship with Maria. But if you see anything, anything concerning about my Felipe, please, you know how much I love him. You must come straight to me. I would not want to stand in the way of his happiness. If you think I should not fight for the heart of Maria, I will listen no, to your advice. You must fight. Don't worry, I will talk to Felipe. Yes. Yeah, oh, I would appreciate it so much if you could convey the wishes of my heart to him. He could have any woman he wants. He is such an amazing man. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I am sure that once I talk to him, you and Maria will find yourselves progressing in your relationship without any impediments. Very nice. <laughs> and, and let me ask you this. Before I cut to Maria... After, as we see Miguel leave, um, does Camilla call anyone? I think she calls Felipe's last known residence. <laughs> okay. And I assume there'll be a woman's voice that will answer. Mm -hmm. It's that Maria's voice. And then she'll hand the phone over to Felipe and he'll kind of groggily wake up. And we'll cut from there to Maria. All right. Maria, when we come back to you, mm -hmm. where are you at? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> like at this point, I'm, uh, I could follow up with the whole Antonio thing at work or I, I don't know. Wait, do, you, do you have a thing in mind? Sure. If you want to, ah, uh, after hours, uh, uh, Miguel took off early. Yeah, I guess. Uh, you know, you're working late because things got delayed. You kept getting interrupted today. Um, and uh, you're in there 
and uh, uh, doing the work. And uh, you will see Felipe's father, mm -hmm. Antonio, come in. Oh, uh, hello, uh, Don Antonio. <laughs> ah, it's Maria, right? Yes. Oh, I like to sometimes come down to the lab and smell the roses. <laughs> you know what I mean. L literally, the roses, because they get the, the perfume. Yes, what is that thing? Is it, do you have the thing that the whales cough up? The the amber grit? Isn't that it? Uh, the, the, they, they make the, the, the things that this is, I, I, this is what my wife told me. Right? He might be a little drunk. Okay, I, I, I guess I noticed his drunkenness and tried to back off. But why don't you show me what you're working on? He moves I am, in I unpleasantly am push, close. I am pushing my card of chemicals. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, no, I am working. Oh, no, no, it's late. It's after hours. Come, I'm, come. I'm busy. I was interrupted a lot to, today. Uh... And if he, uh, like, I'm, I'm waiting until he makes a move to strike out, basically. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, oh, you're a beautiful woman. You know, women shouldn't be working in what the science is. You should be at home, you know, relaxing in a bath. And uh, he does, leans in too close. His he gets handsy with his hands um, uh, as All he right, comes I in. I will. Uh, move out of the way, I guess. Do, uh, do you want to escape or do you want to strike out at him? I think I I want to like in the fiction it would look like escaping but I want to strike out. Okay. Um then uh, uh, I think you, we've got the chemicals. You're going to, to push him back. Maybe it's an accident. Maybe it's not. Yeah. Um, like, am I in over my head at this point? I think so. <laughs> uh, uh, have I caught them off guard? I think so. Oh, yeah. He's a little drunk. Have they just wronged you? He just touched me inappropriately. Yes. So that's a plus three. Let's have you roll. All right. Uh, submit. Oh, that is a 13. Okay. Um, so you give him uh, uh, leverage and you inflict stress, which I mean, he, he's physically hurt. What, are the, what is it uh, that you want from those results there? I think I live with my dignity intact. Okay. <laughs> so negate this negate the leverage uh -huh. for obvious reasons and i think the like if i take something from them can you decide no you can pick is? if you want or you can have me decide i want you to decide okay yeah um so you throw he hits with the hands uh, uh he falls back he drops some papers that he, you know, had, you know, in, in his pocket. He, ah, ah, gosh. He, now he turns from, from sort of uh, uh, happy-go-lucky to, to angry, snarling, um, and, uh, you know, backing away. And uh, you won't get away with this. And staggers out from, from the room. I would uh, love to flash back to a preparation here. All right. Um, as you see in the corner of the room, as he walks away, the camera pans away. There's a surveillance camera in the corner. Okay. Dot of light. Absolutely. So how much stress do you want to spend on that flashback? I'll go ahead and do two. I know okay. how much you love people to use up their resources. Oh, yes. Mm, delicious. Mm, so tasty. Um, roll with a plus two. Okay. Uh, where is the... Which tab did I stick that in? <laughs> <laughs> All the tabs. Okay. 
two reds. Oh, perfect. That is a 10. So you've told us what it is that you've got a camera that is taping this interaction, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and what else do you want from this? Basically, I just want to have um, like material to either blackmail or um, otherwise, you know, get dirt on Antonio so that he could be eliminated if necessary. You could eliminate him right now. Put the blame on Maria. He's stumbling out injured. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh no, she's she's my she's my she's my daughter. <laughs> but that's that's definitely uh, a cool dramatic option. Hey, there is the thing is probably we do see one of your people watching him going, he's he's drunk, he's wandering out. Should I take the shot? And I, I'm sort of like pausing, hesitating for a moment. No, no. Let's not dirty the the gloves of our of our good doctor. Fair enough. Fades back into the darkness. Maria, you pick up these papers. It looks like paperwork, like f f you know, looks like some falsified paperwork. Maybe some some things about people doing ke illegal chemical dumplings dumpings. Um, and it has Felipe's mother's name on it. Camilla, clearly has been involved in some kind of illegal dumping. <laughs> I'm looking at this and I'm like, Jesucristo, Virgen Santissima. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, uh, who do we want to cut to next? I think either Camilla or C Catalina seems like the next logical one to, to go to, or we can bring uh, people together. What do you, what do you think? Um, move on to Camilla for, for okay. Uh, I have a short thing I would like to do if um, yeah. we consider that my knowledge of Maria's relationship with Felipe might grant me leverage over him because I would, in that case, I would use it for a flashback. But otherwise, oh um, yeah, I think that seems on. fair. Yeah, woohoo! Get it, spend it. Okay. Um. Okay. So, because I'd like to flashback to a deal that I made with Felipe. Okay. Um, so I roll first, that right? Is that how it works? Okay. So you spend yeah. one and you roll with that plus one to see what, what it goes. Cool. Last roll. Oh, no. What happened there? I don't know. There's somebody that <laughs> may want to clear, uh, clear yeah, the yeah, dice. Yeah. My bad. Let me try again. I don't know. I haven't used this before. No, oh, haven't. sorry. Oh. oh, good. All right. It's oh, still is. <laughs> oh. So, what is it you wanted? What? Give me the framework mm. for this. Yeah, I know one of the um, miss is setting a trap, so I think uh, it could be useful. Um, so the framework, basically. I think we will like flash back to the to the kind of situation, which is um, uh, Camilla visiting Felipe in his residence, like some squalid room in some squalid place before he came back for the funeral. Um, she's gone. She's gone out of her way to visit him, and um, basically, she's saying to him, Felipe, if this deal is going to go through. I'm going to need the help from someone on the outside, someone who doesn't look like they work directly from the company. Otherwise, the sale will never work. If you do this for me, I will make sure you are back in the company. What makes you think I want to be back? On the board. Why should look, I be back? Look at your life, Felipe. You're living off a very small allowance. I still allow you. I could cut that off in an instant, and you would be nothing. I have my art. I could live on that. Don't fool yourself. I leave you with my deal. I will think on it. 
And as you leave, uh, we will see after you've left him reach over, move aside the blankets and pull out a tape recorder. And we'll get that, that squee of him, you know, rewind to exact right moment with, with just a press and then replaying uh, you giving your deal about selling out the company. Uh, can I just ask in the fiction if he ever does get back to um, Camilla about it or whether he never mentions it again? He doesn't. He, 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 everything gets, gets awkward. We still, he, you still don't know what his answer is. And now mm -hmm. you've got this thing with, with Maria. You're not sure. He's waiting for the right time. Um, so, uh, let's cut back. Um, let's see here. Well, we got who, who wants, who has a scene they want at this point? Catalina, I see you saw a finger. Uh, well, my finger was pointing at Keith uh, on my. <laughs> yeah, your mind does not really communicate that. You have well. a suggestion? Um, no, I just want to see more. Okay, of, of, he's so cool. <laughs> Miguel, you've been given some advice. You're muted. I'm muted. <laughs> That's absolutely what I'm going to do right now. Is uh, act on that entirely selfless advice that Camila has given me. Uh, she says, fight for Maria. And uh, in my, my earnest little brain, that means right now, go fight for Maria. Uh, but right. of course, I stop at a little <laughs> bodega first and get some flowers. Um, and probably also like a generic box of candy. Um, I think I, this would be right after the incident with Antonio and discovering mm -hmm. the papers. <laughs> yes. Okay. Absolutely right when you are like, boy, that was creepy. I don't know about men. And uh, I'm like, holy oh. shit, this papers. <laughs> uh, so you see me freaking the fuck out over some papers. Yeah, we, we cut back. You probably passed Antonio driving away in his sports car, even as you pulled up. Got your little thing of flowers. Have you changed? Are you still in your lab coat? Oh, no. I, I was wearing nice clothes when I went to see Camilla. Okay. So you look nice like you dressed up for this. Yeah. Sort of accidental, but it's still... I mean, the dressed up is probably like literally what the uh, model is wearing. Like, it's an A shirt and low slung pants, but it fits in uh, so, as opposed to the lab coat. So we do see you come in. Um, the, the lab's kind of a mess. And Maria's there and she has the papers out on the table in front of her. And she's like, we see you're visibly upset. And I think because he's screwing up his courage to go in there and do this, uh, that he's not necessarily looking straight ahead. And so he comes in and says, Maria, I had a long talk with my heart. And we have decided that nothing can be done in this life without first making right th uh, and then he notices that, <laughs> that she's freaking out uh, i'm i'm sorry i oh oh what have i done uh drops the the flowers and the and the candy uh miguel uh miguel <laughs> i have offended you already uh no uh do you know about this and i find out the papers <laughs> Wait, is this one of our new fragrances that you I shop him the paper and show him all the signature of Camilla, which I don't know it's forged because it was so well forged. Uh, and the whole thing with the uh, just on a player level, which plot is this about? So <laughs> she has, forged, she has documents that implicate Camilla in chemical dumping. Yeah. Okay, so not the death of Eduardo, chemical dumping. No. Yep. Got Chemical it. dumping, yes. <laughs> so I can calibrate my reaction there. Doña Camila? No. Uh, she has done some things with the company that I do not agree with, but destroying nature? The the planet, the mother of us all? Doña Camila? And looking at it as if I look closer, maybe, maybe this will tell me something different. 
<laughs> yes, take an XP. <laughs> Miguel is going to get all the XP. <laughs> I feel like he wants to go out and just like start sifting the ocean. Like I'll get the chemicals out. I can do it. Oh Miguel, no, that's not how it works. What? Um, what? What are we going to do about this? And takes Maria's hand as he says that. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I think I'm. I'll. I'll figure something out tomorrow once we're back at work. I have, I can. How can we come places. back to work? No, what? Oh, I can, I can figure out, I can figure stuff out. I've been overhearing stuff about Camila and Catalina and something about, and what I wanted to tell you before is that I think Camila wants to kill Felipe. How horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's her son. Yeah, I know. You must be terribly distraught at this news. I, you, I, I, the love of your life being in such mortal peril. Uh, His voice is a little high pitched as he says that. Uh, what? <laughs> I know how you feel for Felipe. But I still must fight for your heart, Maria. I am s like out of character. I'm not actually saying this out loud. I am so confused. I want to spot the thing out of place again. I think that's the only thing I'm doing right now. But okay. It makes sense. <laughs> sure. If you want to do that. Like, um, do you think you're in over your head? I think I think we're established that as yes. Yes, this is some crazy shit. <laughs> Have you been intimate? No. Am I free of other distractions? No, I'm still thinking about all this other shit that I'm in over my head with. I will say intimate, you could argue because we are holding hands and we've just like had an intimate discussion. I don't know if that's talking explicitly sexual or if there's wiggle room there. I think there's wiggle room. It's up to, to Maria how Maria we, wants to define it. I think I think if we get like into like a body cup situation, then we can say more intimate, but okay. I don't think it's gotten there yet. So plus one, that is a nine. That is a nine. You get to ask one question. Uh, how does your, oh wait, uh, hold up. Like, I think, How does your character feel about me? Because I asked the, what's your character hoping to get from me, I think last time. And I want to see the actual, how does your character feel about me? Like, is it really just like, <laughs> you you really in love or just you like? <laughs> I, I would say uh, he thinks that you are too good for him. Okay. Uh, and that he is not interesting enough for you, that you are a sophisticated woman who needs an artist or a, a wild man or something like that. And that he, uh, he kind of idolizes you, I think. All right. Uh, Miguel, it's okay. It's fine. Calm down. Uh, I just have to think about things and, oh my God, this company's, I don't know what I'm. What's going on? I know I, if there's anyone that can come up with a solution, it's you, Maria. But uh, we have to do something. Yes, I agree with, about that. <laughs> I agree with, with that. I mean, I want to cut from that to Catalina watching and listening in on that scene. Uh, can we can we do something a little bit different with Catalina? Sure, absolutely. Tell me where you want to go. I think that'd be related. But um, I, I, I want to have like a, a process your feelings out loud moment. Oh, this okay. This is this is after the the whole Maria thing, the threat, the uh, Antonio. Yes. What 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 do we what do we see here? So what color is that slinky dress you have, Maria? Uh red, I guess. So we have uh it's, it's uh Catalina in front of her her dressing room mirror and 
you see her her coming up with her head and pulling up and she's got this red eye patch on right and she's holding up this dress against her body and she's looking at herself in the mirror right it's the same like style and color of dress that she gave to maria and she's like oh maria don't you understand this is a man's world and all we can do is is try our best to to do what we can to to get what's ours to, to claim our rightful place as women i fear you do not understand men they are nothing but dogs. They have nothing to offer us. You know, and I, I think that might be where we where we hit the dice. I don't know. Yeah. So, I, so the question who's, is, who's rooting? <laughs> who is actually rooting for Catalina among the audience members? Any any of the audience rooting for her? I think on a grand scope of things, no. But on the moment of fuck men we because they are dogs then maybe <laughs> okay so we got got a one <laughs> yeah, is it if it's moment to moment like she's fairly relatable there uh-huh uh yeah go for it okay and and Haley, definitely what do you think? Don't have to <laughs> root if you don't feel like it that's, that's yeah so cool. in the moment i think definitely yes oh okay. my gosh cool <laughs> plus three uh, I'll go ahead and roll that then. Uh, okay, that's a 12, yeah. Oh. Or 10, but still. So, uh, what the question is, you get to ask one of those, those, those things there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I get to ask. Or does the yeah. audience choose? Oh, I choose. Okay. You choose. Um, I want the audience to tell me uh, how I m might get Maria to court Felipe. Probably impossible. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I think... Uh... Maria to court Felipe? Yes. At this point, after this conversation with Miguel, I think you have to pretty much uh, get Felipe out of the out of the way. Not Felipe, sorry, Miguel. Yeah. Out of the way. Like you pretty much have to dispose of him. <laughs> and then the only other man alive is Felipe, so that helps. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty so, much. Uh, uh, what is the? But then again, to... uh, Haley is also part of the audience, so she gets a say. Yeah. Are you good with that? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. the uh, The only other thing I'd say as a member of the audience is put Felipe in trouble, so she knows uh, where her heart truly lies. Mm. Yeah, I was wondering uh, if seeing Felipe in danger would be a I have to go save him. The he's more of a lost little puppy than you are. Maybe, yeah, I think so. So, so Either... what is the, what is the scene then that you uh, uh, you want to frame there, um, Catalina? So I need to endanger both. I need to both endanger Felipe and implicate Miguel. That's so a good way to put it. <laughs> I have a boat. So I think. After this discussion you have, you know, we kind of cut to you later on. Um, and and I'm getting in touch with you. Maybe, I think this is like a clandestine meeting we're having that I've arranged. Uh, perhaps on your boat because it's so cool and it's private. Um, and I... I uh, should we just go into character or do, you, do we need to... Do you have on? a pretense for the meeting? Uh, I think I'm just... Cashing in on a favor, maybe. I mean, that's certainly possible. Yeah. You, you do have some dirt. Yes. I, I think even the way that like I, I invited you is like, you could tell from the tone of my voice is similar to the sort of communication we had in your, in your past. You know, this is nefarious. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think it's... Uh... 
if it's okay with you, going out on a on a sunny day to try to negate the darkness of whatever purpose you may have and your little frilly drink in the hand. But my shoulders are definitely up tense, like, oh boy, when when's she gonna drop the bomb? Yes. Perfect. Is that an opportunity to wear a hat? <laughs> <laughs> My nice, my sun hat on and my sunglasses. I'm stirring my little drink. Um, Are we alone, or do you did you bring anyone? Uh, oh, I think that that she's she's okay to go with you alone. Yeah. Okay. Um, but of course the thugs are always on standby on jet skis if need be, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, so yeah, I, I come to you and I say. We've known each other for a long time, haven't we, Miguel? More years than I would care to count, Catalina. <laughs> Do you think that I am so uh, ignorant in the language of love? I've I've seen uh, I've seen the glances that you. That you that you make at uh, at the, your assistant Maria, I would recognize the look in your eyes anywhere. Uh, and yeah. yet, yet you go to that old busybody Camilla for advice on love. What did she tell you? Be yourself. Hmm. Did she tell you that? <laughs> My boy. I I know without being told. I know so many things. That has always been the case. The truth is, Miguel, you aren't enough for Maria. Mm. We both know it. Gaze out to sea forlornly. <laughs> oh my god, just mark yeah. experience for that <laughs> music burn. <laughs> You're not good enough for her. She is a is an outstanding woman of of regard. And you <laughs> nothing but a reformed thug. No offense. <laughs> Damn. But I think you might be able to Leverage that past to your advantage. All hope is not lost for you. What do you mean? I finished my drink. Now I am a little, <laughs> little more persuadable, perhaps. I speak to your biggest obstacle in all of this. Felipe. Felipe. <laughs> we say in unison. <laughs> this sounds like a demand what you deserve. To okay. push him with the plus one forward from the process. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Currently, I'm distracted, uh, so luckily that's not getting in the way okay. of demand. Um, <clears throat> so I am trying to take control yes. of the situation. I'm offering something of value in return. Maria. I don't I don't think there's much love between us right now, though. No, right. Uh, more of a business relationship <laughs> and and some self-esteem uh, issues. So yes. with plus three, plus three, yes, wow. Yes, with the plus one forward, yeah. So good. So hard for you to fail this one. I think that's another ten. Yeah. Did that work? All right. okay. So. You've got a 10 plus. Your target gets to pick one. You get to remove an option from his choices there. Mm. I do not want you to deny me. <laughs> so I will take that one. You can still run away. I oh, escalate and deny. Okay, got it. Yeah. Um, so what is it you would say you're demanding? You have certainly inferred Felipe is in the way. Yes. Um, well, I mean, I, I, I would love to leave it kind of open, um, but do you want me, Michael, to 
be more specific. Well, I'm just wondering if I can cede to your will. Like what have I conceded? <laughs> right. Uh, You'd be yeah. saying that that the the next scene we frame next time is you trying to figure out how to. I, I want you to put him in danger, right? Um, mm -hmm. Is basically what I want you to do, uh, so that M Maria will be, you know, more interested in him than in you. You're a scientist. Should be no problem. I like Andy of thinking they run away and I just jump off the boat. <laughs> so I don't know how to sail this thing. Why, why did you just, this is your boat. <laughs> what do you think? <sighs> Man, I just, um, I don't know. On a, on a design level, I feel like weaseling out of it and giving you leverage is not interesting at all. Mm -hmm. Um, the leverage allows them to do some pretty powerful moves against you. Okay. Um, but you know what? I just, you just beat me down to nothing. Uh, and I'm drunk. So I can see to your will. <laughs> hey. Okay. Take leverage over me. Right? I want to cut. Works? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I want to, I want to cut. I want to do one last scene here before we close up because we close at the 1030. Um, Camilla. I want to give you one last scene here. Is there anything that you want to, want to do here? Um, yes. I think the only, the last thing that I wanted to do um, in this session is that it, earlier we saw me calling Felipe. Uh-huh. Um, and so I just want to go back to that conversation for a moment. Okay. Um, if that's okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what is it you want, Mother? Felipe, we have had our differences over the years, but I am still your mother, and you know I would do anything for you. Can I express you... my love passionately to Felipe? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to do that. Okay. Uh, I think, is this in service to somebody else? Yes, it's in service to Felipe. Okay, You're trying to help him. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't think the other two apply. are particularly appropriate. Um, so maybe roll with a plus one. Mm Okay, 11. 11. Um, and he, and I think he listens. He wants your respect. We've already established that. Um, yeah, I think just to give you a bit more to work off, I think I say, Felipe, now's the time. I've heard word that Catalina is out to get you. She wants to destroy you. She must have heard about the deal. Come back, Felipe. We can work together and defeat her once and for all. I think I'm, you're going to get leverage over him. And he says, I, I know she is. Uh, hold on. And he, you hear him hold, hand the phone to someone. And uh, phone's picked up. And you hear, yes, my sister. Catalina is behind all of it. And that's what? where we're going to cut. <laughs> As Eduardo's voice comes over the line. And we'll probably get a camera shot of him in the room with Felipe. Uh, I just literally bit my tongue. <laughs> it actually happened. Wow. Uh, and that's what we'll take up next time. Um, everybody can mark an extra XP for playing. Um, uh, and uh, if you hit five, you can take a new move. Um, and we'll we'll deal with those logistics at the start of next session.
Um, we'll do yeah. Roses and Thorns at the end of session two. That's what I generally do with two shots. Is that cool with everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds awesome. good. All right. Good stuff, guys. Thank yeah, you very super much. Super fun. Uh, yeah. I, I really dig this game. <laughs> there are some weird mechanical bits, and I know he's revising some of the moves. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, but there's a lot here I love. So yeah. I had a great time. Thanks, everybody. Y'all did great. Thanks so much. Very yes. excited for next time. Yes. Yes. <laughs>